Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a subdomain in GoDaddy. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your GoDaddy website or your web account. So here it goes. So this is my account, right? So I'm just going to show you how or what I did to create an account. So launch any browser of your choice. And in the top corner, you're definitely going to find the search bar. In the search bar, type GoDaddy.com. It's going to take you to the official website for GoDaddy. In the website at the top right corner, you're going to find sign up. Click on sign up and follow through with the processes to create an account. It's pretty much easy. Now, you're going to be asked to create an account using either the manual setting or the automatic setting where you can choose among signing up using Facebook, Google, or Apple. Now, whichever process you find convenient or comfortable, once you have created an account successfully, it's going to take you right into this fantastic homepage where you cannot explore all the features that GoDaddy has to offer. Now let's hop into today's class, which is how to create a subdomain in GoDaddy. Now from this homepage here, you're going to find your um, profile name at the top right corner. Mine is Amanda. Click on it. I'm going to see an extended menu, my products, renewals and booleans, account settings and just so on. So go ahead and click on my product. And once you click on my product, so it's going to take you to this my product page. And from the my product page, scroll the way down until you find um, domains. Now, where you see domains, you're going to see manage all. Go ahead and click on manage all. So it can take you to the domain manager. So here we are. All right. Okay. All right. So from this domain manager, all right. So once this once this page has been fully loaded up, if you have a domain exactly, all right. So I'm just. I just really don't know what's going on and why the domain manager is taking too much time. Okay, so okay, it's from the end. So good that it is quite down. So I'm just gonna have to. Mm. All right. I'm going all the way back, and here I find domain. So I'm just gonna have to click on manage all again. Yeah, thankfully it works now. So here we are. So this is the domain page. All right. So from this domain page, if you want to add a subdomain, all you need to do is to head over to this left corner and you're going to find DNS. So go ahead and click on the DNS settings. It's going to open up the DNS window. So here you see DNS management. So from here, scroll all the way down and now you're going to find add new record. All right. So from this add new records, go ahead and click on add new record. And then here in the type option, you're going to have to click on A. All right. And then from the name, you're going to have to enter your new domain name, your new subdomain name. All right. Enter it here and then enter the value. All right. And then go ahead and this TTL sets to default. And once you do that, go ahead and click save. And once you click save, that'll be it. This is how you can create a subdomain. So head over here to read what's here. The records use an IP address to connect your domain to a website. They are also used to create subdomains such as that's the A records, which is where we have why we have to set this to A. So the store or the points and IP address. So this is pretty much the process. And I can go by this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this video helped you search.